Last map of the European division here. We did just witness G2 crumble on cash. I was having crumbles are appropriate. They lost 16 rounds in a row after being up 5-0. Sorry? Disintegrate. Yes, indeed. It's into absolute nothingness. But we move on to Dust2, which is their pick through the veto system we use here online. Um, so Dust2, surely a high fragging affair. It's all spawn based. And I would say if you look at them pound for pound, this should favor G2 in terms of the players they have available. Kenny S and Shoxi alone, with body anchoring the B bomb site, should be enough to do it on Dust2. Well, at least more than five rounds. Come on, boys. It's got to be better. Than well, that. I think I think one. I think I see two problems with this. Uh, one problem is so, so when we first saw G two sort of debut really um, properly at the 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 major, we saw them play at Dust two, and we're like, whoa, they look really good. Mm -hmm. And some of it was gimmicky. Um, you know, for example, they had like the new little trick smokes on the A bomb site with shocks and so yeah. on that helped them, and that's known now. Everyone knows about that. And then the other thing is that they played a style where they gave up long all the time. And I don't know if that's going to work. And I think that it's pretty easy to prepare for them. So I'm worried that VP will just have their number. <sighs> VP. I, I know they're capable of beating G2. We just witnessed that. But surely that's not going to happen again. G2 are going to put up a much stronger performance. Kenny S only had the orb, what, like three times? They got 16 rounds in a row, Henry. 16 rounds in a row. They had 5 0 those when Kenny was using the orb. The first gun round, he had it out. We went into round number six, and he didn't have it. He bought an AK instead. And that's when it all started going horribly wrong. Didn't really see him pick it up since that point. Uh, Dust 2, one of the most orb-centric maps we have in the pool. Surely this is where we'll see Smiths look more comfortable. Back in the day, he was one of the best Dust 2 players of the game. Yeah, but that was before the crouch pick nerf, right? Sure. So long... I'm just trying to build some sort of context. I know, you know? Henry. Anything. I, know. I respect <laughs> it, but I just can't. Yeah. I can't go along. <laughs> I, I'm starting to lose faith, I have to say. Yeah, yeah me I too. I just like, because there is, we're not really... Seeing a glimmer of hope at all. No, but that made a good point. At the major release, Dust 2 was a bit of a calling card for them. They actually got some <clears> decent <throat> results in that map. They're going to be more prepared for it, I hope. Like, Cash just didn't seem to have anything in their arsenal at all. Like, even the, the mid rounds when they had picks and just the disastrous sequence of events getting towards the bomb site, the clutches were falling apart. It seemed very tentative in the 1v1 duels. Didn't really seem comfortable taking them, especially like existence in 1v1 seemed like he was hiding more than he was ready to actively challenge. Um, so that was a bit of a problem for me. Dust 2, I feel like, will be a very good game, hopefully. Um, Virtus Pro used to be their go-to veto for four years or something like that. They never ever played it. I remember back in 2016 when they threw it in as a wild card. Everyone expected them to veto it. They actually picked it and uh, they lost like 16-2. So it's not about they historically play, but obviously everyone plays Dust2 at this point. With all those factors in mind, G2 are going to take this map. What do you think about that? <laughs> I would love to be surprised. Okay. I feel like they will at least put up a good show. They're going to get double digits. I'll take I a competitive match. I they don't need... even care if they win. I want to see competition. <sighs> I want them to be an actual threat because right now, if you look at their results, it's like they're a team who's qualified on Face It for a yes. North American League. Yeah, I think that's quite accurate but as threatening as a koala there they're gonna do okay yeah that still will be fine this is their pick like i said this is the first time now i've got the cards i have all more information i have who picked what map i have who's starting what i have a knife under the side wow um it is going to be dust two it is going to be the first chance g2 have to post they're zero and seven right now the only team that have not posted what uh, if they lose every match they can't what if they do <laughs> well they're relegated i assume what do you do for g2 um, do you well, ask Vitality how much they're selling their team for? Well, they already just sold off G, uh, Apex and MBK, right? So there's money there. But maybe not. They're probably using that to salary the current players, I'd imagine. Um, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things. Like, how much time do you give these guys? You sign them to 2020. Do you give them another year of this sort of style? Do you change a player? What does Kishima think of all of this? He must be loving it. Just watching what on. What is he even like, doing? Like, oh, I didn't chat to him too much recently, but there was some discussion to the scene which i'll leave private but he was working for the envious team when it all fell apart he went to china with them i believe mm. um so he just falls in whenever teams need him no one seems that uh, excited by the prospect of having him in a french team right now he could contribute to this team you'd think vitality would probably pick him up over happy perhaps i would say but maybe they just need the yeah. game leader i don't know yeah it's an interesting one isn't it i'm i'm yeah i'm curious to see i, I don't think happy is a bad choice on that team i think it's all about the implementation he has to change his ways though surely he'll have to move away from him being the I think, I think Yeah, round. I think the issue is you know you know what he's doing. Yeah, I think that would have been one of the bargaining chips. Once you're not surprising people, then your uh, Im impact is reduced. But I mean, as far as this team is concerned, G2, who do you have in the win? Do you have a retired, a, a re retired maniac? Can't do that. Kirishima. <laughs> you can't go backwards again. But well, but that's it. 
like if you're t- if you're how do we how do we fix this team? Throw it in. We're going in. Um, tech pause. Okay, that's always happens to me. I get told it's going in. I throw it over silently. Let you keep talking. Then it'll let's throw it to the pause. Straight to a tech pause. Yes, yeah, it's it's a, it's a difficult thing to try to fix. I think is this roster going to work? GC? No, no, absolutely not. In his current form, I don't think it's the right recipe. The the skill ceiling's too low on shock. That's not shocks. Obviously not him. They on get some Smith's existence. I feel like they need, you need five, as we mentioned earlier, Liquid's the perfect team to try and replicate right now. You need five hard-hitting players that are dedicated, have a good attitude, are willing to put the hours in, to go to the team house, to put the boot camps, and learn from their mistakes. You need a really solid coach behind them as well. Zeus whips them all into shape and makes sure they know their mistakes are, are, are heard about, and they'll hear about that. Miss so. Harvey speaks French. <laughs> Is that that's the solution? I don't know. I think also... Get, go know, to Canada, man. I think France also, is taken, though. Uh, you know, maybe I don't know if this is like a cultural th- uh, thing, you know, for for French uh, teams or, or whatever. But um, I know that you know, fake it till you make it is is a really important principle sometimes. And in this instance, as Henry's saying, going and just saying, you know what, Liquid is just doing amazing things. Astralis are just doing amazing things. Let let's just try to copy as much as we can from those systems and try to figure that out because what's been happening in French and also I think in Swedish Counter Strike as well. Two two scenes that were for the longest time the most dominant scenes in the world. You we have, didn't have a single French player um, in the final eight. And, and one Swedish right? player. One he's Swedish on an player. international team. Yeah. So he's, he's on a runner. I did a tweet and about that. I was like saying, this is, if anything has not signified a change yet, the playoff of the major, we have zero French, one Swede, and two UK players. Something is dramatically changing yeah. in the scene right now. Something's gone horribly wrong from the old guards, you know? And if, if you look at what has been working, it is, it's a huge cultural change. It's, teams that are putting in the work to innovate the game as well. So the game's moving like way past sort of that status quo that uh, in the French and Swedish scenes existed within. I think both those scenes as well, um, you have players that have been used to just winning all the time. And, you know, they got to that level and they started winning and they kept winning. And then eventually, perhaps you just get a stagnancy in the culture. There's a level of perhaps maybe maybe ego perhaps as well. You know, we, you know, we, we are the best. Let's just keep doing what we know that works. And that next step of be- being able to evolve when things move past you, that's a different skill set entirely. And that's maybe something that we haven't seen because we're just getting a cycle and it's just uh, perpetuating. There we go. Got it right that time. And it will be Virtus Pro on the T side here. Dust 2 from a G2's pick. This is where they want to be. It's a map. Historically, VP don't even play. So let's see how this one goes down. Going to be Shoxy challenging first. Taken down. Not quite. I thought he was done for. He does recover and take down one of the key fraggers, Mihu. There we go. We're off to a good start. Right. So body's going to be spotting the movements, and shocks will be coming in from the C- from uh, CT. And it's going to be interesting to see how the dynamics play. You know, Smith usually is going to be anchoring the B bomb site. You probably see with Autis sniper raid and VP doing that later on. But of course, it depends on whether they win this pistol and if they can get that those expensive guns out quickly or not. Hello. It's looking a bit easy. Walk in the park. A round has been won, lads. It is a cause for celebration. G2. Good start, but they had this on cash too. No bomb planted means Virtus Pro presumably force buy here. They haven't purchased anything yet. It's difficult to justify a force buy and dust too sometimes, I guess. It's like, well, about the grenades. Do you think the new economy takes? will favor certain teams? Yes, well, Astralis have been tweeting that they've been saying thanks, Val, for the buff, the buff to Astralis. Yeah, I think this will favour all <laughs> um, the better teams. Because, like, yeah, it, it means there's less random results. You're not so like the pistols are a little bit random sometimes. It's not necessarily the strategies to win them. It can just be down to just straight up fragging. So if you lose a pistol, you have a chance to recover. Astralis sometimes have given quite a lot of pistols up and have to really dig deep to uh, win best of one. So. Maybe they just feel like, yeah, for us, we get a second bite of the cherry in the second round after losing the pistol, which maybe is sometimes a little bit random. I feel like it would benefit an existence team. So, will it have a dramatic difference? I don't know. It only affects the first few rounds, I would imagine. But um, I'm quite curious to see, like, next week a G2 with the new economy. I, I think Percy just favors the teams that are better at Counter-Strike, the teams that know the game the best, the, the teams that... You know, well, well, you know, it's like that. It's, it's like it favors Astralis just because they get more money, they get to make more decisions, they get to play more Counter Strike. Yeah. And that just reduces the variance. I so think it'll get the, the juices flowing, the existence juices flowing. I know, James, you're really, <laughs> really doubling down on existence here. Yeah, man. 
<laughs> I really don't think there's any <laughs> evidence for this. Yeah. <laughs> it just, he'll be fine. He just needs a bit more money. That's all he needs. <laughs> <laughs> Some extra cash. Yeah, he'll be absolutely fine. He's, he's ready for the thing. So one thing, another point I want to see add on is that if we consider the two, the regions producing the two, uh, consistently producing the two best, the two, sorry, the two best regions pr producing the best Counter-Strike players and teams right now, North America. And Denmark. It, and Denmark. Mm. And by a long way, actually, the CIS region has a lot of, I guess it's harder for us to actually have a, as much of a look into it because it's more of an insular region. Yes. Um, and Na'Vi, the way they play is a bit unique and everyone in that region sort of tries to model themselves on Na'Vi, but, but uh, North America, they used to be the joke. They were the meme. Uh, but they've always had young players who have incredibly uh, great mechanical tendencies, and uh, that's finally being realized. They just needed some father figures to look after. That's why I referenced Zeus there. I feel like he's done such a great job yeah. training those guys, getting them disciplined, letting them realize that uh, even if you lose maps, you need to hold your head high. It's never over. Um, so there's a trade, though, at least. Uh, I don't think BP will do much of this, especially with Body coming into the position he is there. Uh, anticipating his flank. They might have to trade out again here, but he gets two kills and pretty much secures the round, making a third. And Kenny will be dropped there. Oh, apparently not. He recovers. 3 0. That is pro. No orb. I, should, I also think that Liquid are going to be nuts with more money, too. Just think of any round where Twist picks up a Deagle on the four spines. CZ, mate. CZ. And it all still has a CZ, yeah. <laughs> I like Patch's knife. I've never had a Karambit fade. Maybe I'll swap my target to one for that one. But it's pretty. Nice. And as you said, Dan, G2 will not contest the long position. And versus Pro will take it away straight away. Ooh. We have seen these Larry pushes from existence in the past. Yep. But this is being watched for. The smoke will introduce variants if he dares go through it. Nobody Damn. watching it, and that timing is perfect for existence. Body, he's purely spotting, does not want to take a duel from that angle. Now, from this distance, he should see Pasha slightly before Pasha sees existence. Because Pasha's closer to the wall, he will expose his body first. Speaking of body, pop flash from him. Spot some players, that's a nice uh, drill from him. But he runs out of nails. And they know about the flank now because I think it was spotted by Neo. So that's a bit of action towards long. That's ongoing. Eventually, Neo will shut it down. But on the site, the bomb's been dropped. And that's where the main issue is for now. And I think we forced back by the Molly, but he's going to smoke it straight away, keep the pressure on to stop the bomb from being made. Nice frag coming out from Neo, but Kenny's a big problem. Neo can close the distance. Neo can make the difference, but he has to get the kill. And he's trying to go for the pre fires. Kenny, he's too quick. And now it's down to Pasha. 40 seconds to go. No bomb. Kenny S for three kills. Give him an orb. He will deliver. That's been the problem the last 20 rounds or so. But uh, Pasha surely can't do much of this. No chance to grab the bomb ready. Time running out. And Kenny has to take him down. 4-0 for G2. Looking at that 5-0 again. I'm surprised he didn't jump on the box in front of him to peek from there. Because when you know Kenny's on the A side, you're more likely to get legs. And maybe you could get a headshot in him. But if you just walk out. Just walking out into the angle. It's a free kill for Kenny S. Something I learned from watching Guardian peek that corner with an AWP. Often jump on the box to elevate his position. It makes me suspect that you know, VP didn't do that much prep on G2 just because that push from existence was, uh, has been their calling card, especially whenever they've given up long. He'll, he'll do that two or three times on a CT side. So it's something that you should absolutely look for, a smoke there. It's not too hard to spot it. You see a smoke there, you know exactly that it's going to be existence pushing up mid. He just does it all the time in the GT matches that we've seen him dust too so far. Let's see how far you can get with it. That's a, just having a bit of a look. See who's there. Oh, it's Kenny. He's got naught. Uh, they've got one flash left. Most fruitful position on the map to get the bomb down is short because you can plant defensively. You flash the CTs off, but... Uh, Body finds Pasha along. I don't think he's going to short unless that happens. Great shot for me, dude. Unfortunately, Kenny S is there to pick up the pieces. We might just go back towards middle here and see if they've caught a rotation out. Existence in B tunnels. They go mid towards B. It's covered. It will be Smith's from the window. Very easy frags coming up here. You can boost over that wall as well. Yes, which is well, really nice. the, the window, do you think? Yeah. 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 
It's a shame that Mihu just ran out after getting the kill instead of waiting for his teammates. Guess he just thought maybe carries along, grab an AK. Not gonna do much of the round anyway. Yeah. So they're gonna nade towards mid doors. They're not gonna smoke until it becomes a problem. So that means you get to keep your smoke and they cost you two AG grenades. The smokes are so valuable on a map like us too. They get across safely and here's a smoke for Xbox. Run by Snatchy, much easier to do in this iteration of Dust 2. Yeah, that's a nice little easy lineup. Yeah, before you had to like run or use the scaffolding in T-Sport yeah. and line it up like for a few seconds, then do a jump throw. And yes, there's a big kill though, takes down Neo, and they can fall back now. That's job done, really. Bit of aggression at the start, get an advantage, apply the pressure, sabotage their default, I meaning it's going to take much longer to dissect the map. And still going for an aggressive push and B. This is not required, but I still respect it. They're being assertive, it's a bit of a French... Big one does too, and it works out for them. Existence will take down Morales and smoke deployed by NES. Molotov off, that's fine though. Plenty of time, good grenade. Doesn't do a ton of damage. I love that play from the CTs. Similar to what we saw from North, even with a man advantage, they just want to take the game away from their opponent. And I think you have to have that unpredictability in your wheelhouse. Two versus four, one versus four. Now Mihu with a lot to do. Boys the flashbang. And it'll spray Kenny, but Shox is there to trade. Three players surviving for a G2. AWP rescued as well. 6-0 so far, so good. They've beaten the scoreline of the first map. This is Kenny S in what, I think three kills in total. Manages to nail this one towards long passion. Did not see that coming. This was the penultimate kill. One thing Six to zero. that's really important too about those aggressions is that you never want to just always be like, oh, it's 5v4, let's just play it safe. Just just because it wastes time in the future rounds when you've already shown that you can be doing that. So they might think, is this a tendency? We will actually expend a bit more time playing a bit more passively to try to catch you. And so it really helps you from being predictable. Kenny is just having a game, isn't he? Yeah, he's lighting them up. He's got 15 center. kills, Henry. He really has. This is the same though. He had 12 kills after seven rounds, you remember, on cash. So it's the exact same thing. Kenny S, carrying strong, and uh, oh, body does spot one. I'll give his position up though. Snatchy makes his way in towards B, but the smokes are decent. Maybe not quite for the boosted spot. That's me who going down, and that's surely round at this point. Or is it? Morel's holding on to the bomb for the time being. A big headshot from Snatchy as well. Smith has been spotted. Smith has been swatted. Everything turning around. And Vertis probably look good for their first round on the board. G2 looking for their first game victory of ECS. A smoke from shots and two flashes. Spotting one player behind Xbox. And he'll be taken out. Kenny cannot be stopped at the moment. Picking up an AK now. And there may be a player heading through the door. Not expecting him to have the AK, but... He was caught with a grenade in his hand, leaving shocks alone, and it won't happen for him. First round on a board for Virtus Pro. Will it be 16 rounds in a row? <laughs> Could be. Has happened before. Kenny is just doing some extreme lifting right now. Yeah, he is. 16 kills after seven rounds. It's like he's at the strongman competition and lifting the car. <laughs> Auto sniper. Channeling his. In a smooth it seems. Smith does get tagged up through the doors. AG grenades not perfect. So Smith will be tagged up and body will be removed from the equation. Nice shot from Pasha. Shocks you not the ideal weapon to retake long, I won't lie to you. He's done for as well, Pasha's gonna take him down. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Bosh. Just the one. Just a tap. Damn. Ash, I had that locked in. Oh, do you really want to? Oh. Oh, oh my God, Mihu, what on earth is that? No fear whatsoever, and that's a very expensive round for for G2. Where's the money got? One of the one of the criticisms I, ha I have for VP in their current iteration actually is that uh, you know, I, I've seen Mihu give up a lot of edges uh, with over aggression, and his aggression is like one of those things where it's one of the best things about his game. His gameplay is it can be really brutal. When he's hitting his shots, it's really scary. It's kind of like you know, if you imagine how you would imagine Apex when Apex was, you know, at his peak. But but sometimes it's just the blinders go on, and the tunnel vision's there, and you see mistakes being made. So that's one of the criticisms I have had so far in this VP new VP lineup. There's been a lot of positives to it. When Snatchy's performing well and things are sort of fit, you know fitting into place, 
they have all the right kind of players and roles. It's just really whether they can get the confidence and get it firing off. Okay, Eco. And there are four players towards the long area. Just Smith's patrolling B. Oof, almost got the Deagle headshot, but not quite. It's a B split. No chance to do anything about this. He'll maybe get one kill through the smoke here. And he decides to push through, but his teammates dropping. They're going for, they're boosting over the smoke token, by the way, I see. Okay. Existence used to do that a lot, actually. The old one too. Okay, then. Just the one. It's looking exciting. Bomb will be collected just in time. Oh, boy. You are in trouble now. That is a big weapon to be collected. He'll get positioned before me, he will. How on earth has this happened? They were in position for the split forever. And all of a sudden, they're in a lot of trouble. Existence still with a P2000. Be dispatched of. Mihu, how does he retrieve the bomb? Oh, he's got a scope. Oh my god. Is it happening? Not like this. Is it actually happening? Pash up. Smoked out. Would have run through. I hope for the best here. But that's it's been, my god. That's an eco round. He had a flashbang. Oh he could have just bounced it off the wall. Oh dear. He had a flashbang. He had a Molotov. Throw a Molotov to the box on the right. Flash off the wall. And then oh. face. Oh, when the bullets got absorbed. Yeah, by, by the gun. gun. Yeah. That's pretty. Look at the nades. Insane. Two flashes on the molly. That's you know true. there's an orb there. He's got a flash. Walk out into the wall. Neo <coughs> pistol for the snatchy. Faster play from Pasha. Be punished initially. It's all existence. A lock horns. Buy some time here. Nice deep one. Me who can't really do much with that. Now they can focus towards middle. Big cab spots a few. He has got Smiths on the platform. Existence and Smiths at the B side of the map. Seems like a weakness in terms of the talent available. Normally it was body for G2 that was anchoring and B us too. He did such a fantastic job at it as well. Achilles heel. Yes, potentially. I wonder if anyone names their child Achilles. Two players left. There were some, um, I think in the, I want to say in the UK, Go on. some neo-Nazis who named their child Adolf recently. Right. Denying that they're neo-Nazis, but I think that might be, uh, might make it harder, a harder sell. Some BBC News the other day. Years. Yeah. I wasn't even given a chance. <laughs> Oh, his middle name is Adolf. Okay. So, sometimes you wonder how this that kind of stuff gets reported as well. Like, how, do you, how does how does it reach the news? Yeah, how does it reach the news? Yeah, so, I do loads of cool stuff. Doesn't never reach the news. I do wonder. Well, you, you think that's cool stuff, do you, Dan? No, I was gonna say obviously that's horrific stuff. Right. But Maybe that's why it's in the news. You yeah. think neo-Nazism is cool, Dan? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it's cool. It's in. Um, anyway. You associate with neo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. And um, we'll see the next round come through. It's Verdict Pro bouncing back, though. Their money's still pretty decent. 7 3, scoreline not reflecting that. Kenny S with the orb. We could go for a challenge. And they're starting to smoke middle now. Like I said, they'll use the HEs until they start taking damage. It was Body who got the most wrecked historically against Guardian and Dust 2. I think he got tagged 10 times out of 15. Um, that was the, the best one I've ever casted. Oh, dear. Smoke down, Molotov down. There's no way through there. Let's see if G2 can hold on to the long position. It should be fine. Only one player there, Pasha. And the rest will go towards shorts. Kenny with the first kill. And he is absolutely loving the AWP here. It's round 11. He's already got 80 kills. Make that 19. You can't really test him. The, the issue for VP is they don't have any of the correct grenades to, to deny Kenny S. Well, There's remember, so many names. This isn't a map we've seen VP play a lot ever. It's true, um, but it's... So I guess they're like, maybe the VT didn't go well for them, but uh, either way, trying their best it, as Body will continue to apply the pressure here to 5 on 2. It is kind of like knowing A, a with Smokes on Mirage, though. Knowing the the set piece onto the A site. Yes, I'm it's, sure. it's every so team plays that. No. Yeah. And it dis disables the orb com uh, completely. And now they're just trying to dry peek 
into Kenny S's orb, likely. Is he, is he peeking it? No, it's actually Shocks down there. Here comes Kenny S. Yeah, that's not going to go very well. <laughs> the long range duel. We have it's Kenny there with the M4. And uh, that'll be another round for G2. And I mean, yeah, it just doesn't seem like there's any real answer to Kenny on A. They kind of get to that point. So, all right, let's go to A now. And they just don't have an answer. They have they have Molotovs, they have smokes, they've got all sorts. What is the plan? Well, the plan for now is Eco, because that's all they really can do. As uh, Neo punches this in basic utility. Who is in-game leader for VP right now? Do you guys know? I'll take that as a I actually am not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Are you from it does rotate a lot, or it did with the old lineup. Yes, now. I actually don't know. Maybe I one of the. I'm unsure. Sliggy, do you know? No idea. Right. Well. If Sliggy doesn't know, then no one. Yeah, knows. I thought that would be a lock in. He'd know. But uh, maybe it's. It, but I guess, unless one of the new younger guys are in game leaders, I don't know. It'd be Neo out of anyone that's remaining. But I don't know enough about Snatchy Morales to comment. I think VP were also banking on being able to trade out on short in the previous round because G2 often don't put too many players on long and sometimes they stack towards short. So that could also have been part of the plan and then when that wasn't the case, they're like, okay, well, I guess we'll just try to go into A, try against the AWP. But now they have short. Kenny repositions from long. There are, there's two flashbangs on the smoke. That's enough to get a bomb plant out of this on A. He's going really far forward, and he nails Pasha. That's beautiful. Oh, look, there's the bomb. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Shrapnel, lovely flick from Kenny. He is in deathmatch mode. Free for all. Started off beautiful. He has to pull out the pistol to close it out, but that's... He stuck the landing. <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. yeah, don't expect that CZ to get a long-range kill, though. After the updates. Necessarily, anyway. Maybe on the first shot. Yeah, he tap it. I think that's what they're trying to promote. Second shot was pretty special. Watch this. Oh, nice. Beauty. Beauty. Nine to three. The sniper in TF2 sir. Beauty. I used to love sniper in TF2. You can use the AWP in TF2. Yep. I used it even though they were much better weapons. But it's an AWP. I have to use it. I have no choice. Existence trying his old tricks again, Dan. Yep. Second time, I guess. It's a cool smoke. It does block off all the vision. The problem but is, is this, that's a problem. Is, yeah, that's the problem. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, this is that's just a massive blunder, isn't it? Oh dear. He's mixed it up. Tap tap. Existence is knocking. It's coming in like Jack Nicholson. Pasha left in T spawn. Kevin. Granates, Gerati being thrown. And there is round number 10 for G2. Double figures. This will be, or could be, should be, might be. Here we go. A nice map for G2. I told you. I mean, it might just be. I I they can like still win 13 rounds in a row versus Pro. It's a nice round from existence, but you, you feel as though at the same time that VP kind of tripped over themselves a bit. Yeah, there. the fact they flashed it, they showed they had awareness, just didn't check. Or have information of his tendencies, I guess. It was a nice position for him. It's pretty cool. Yep. Another eco here. Looking for the 12-3. G2 might just get it. The fast mid play. There's the uh, Molly. And the, an immediate smoke. And VP. And I'll be pushed towards the A bomb sites. G2, the traffic. Instructors. Instructors. Directors. I don't know. But whatever. If you will all be dead. G2 with 11 rounds. They are looking not too shabby here. Kenny has 26 kills, by the way. Yeah. It's good. It's what you want to see, especially after yeah, the but that's like where he was lacking, lacking AWP <laughs> so often. First half. It tells you a lot. Break. Like yeah. It's not like the team's playing super sick or anything. Like, oh, they've worked out dust too. They've completed it. Like... KDS has got almost 30 kills in the first half. No wonder they're winning. 
shocks has been taken up. Body creeping around the corner of the smoke. If it gets too close, it will favor the other side. Seems they're going for it. No sniper for Kenny this round. So he wants to run to his doom, it seems. One play taken out. Spot pasha, but not in time. And we may just have round number four for versus pro. Smith's coming from the B bomb site. Last man standing in a one versus three. He has conceded his position now. He has been heard by the likes of Pasha, and he will soon sure. be executed. Round number four for VP. We'll see what they can do on the CT side, but it seems that G2 are far better prepared. Kenny S28 for six. The weird thing is that, obviously, right. you know you know that Five Kenny's going to be playing eight with the car, on the car with the AWP. You know that, and you know Smith is going to be on the B-bomb site. I'm not saying target Smith or you something You are saying like that. target Smith, Dan. But, but what I am saying is, if you don't have any if you don't have any grenades to to stop the gauntlet run being a gauntlet run against Kenny on the A site, then you have no business going there, you know? it's You can't just dry peek him. He's going to absolutely wreck you. Let's have a look at the buys. Smoke to Xbox from the French squad. Snatchy will be challenging. He is good for one kill, not even that. Shoxy punishes him. Damage done though by the CT. It's not completely over just yet, but the A side is completely open. That is a problem. Flashbang towards spawn. They can plant for sure here. They do have presence. And it will be me who to strike first over VP. He's coming out quickly as well. Looking to get the shots in the back, but actually received one in the face. Nice shot from Morozo. Calm with the P2000. Bomb planted. Still anyone's round with the kit available. Let's see who comes out on top. Ooh. Often fantastic in these pistols. You can see why here. Oh, that's beautiful from Shox. Wow. Shoxy Jesus. Quarter kill for him. Shoxy fashion. <laughs> Shoxy mania taking over. That's insane. He gets four kills in that round. This one. Oh. The Rolls is hitting some crispy ones too. 180 taking the cake. Can you on the scout? Can you get the gap? He's looking Good for any back. challenges. Hello, no connection made just yet. Well, not completed. And that will be that for now. I like to jump into the suicide position and look from there after the cross. Offer a nasty surprise. It's Morels. Half HP with the door shot there. Head shot to Snatchy, and he does. Oh, is that on me? Who I take it back. It did, a lot. it did do a lot of damage. 33 health. Sometimes you see a T throw a Molotov through the door there later on. So if anyone's behind the door, they will be forced from their position. Good one to pick up if you've got a venture to. Oh, that's straight in the head, man. Falling head first, not recommended. Unless you're in a pool. Even then, stick your arms out. G2 moving towards the site, but note how they're keeping hold of the short position. They can plant for short, and indeed they will because that is where they will focus their defense. They have range to abuse. Body not by hitting the mark there. Shocks. Some interesting smoke from him. And he would be pulling the CTs away from A in its entirety. They're looking to steal his weapon. He will be the focus. But G2 look to move to 13 rounds. This may be a quick one. Yeah, that CT economy when it gets busted up like this. It's one of the hardest maps because you need the orbs. You really um, need the orbs. This is the fourth by two, so they're going to be full eco next round. Neo gets a scout. That's about as good as he's going to get. So they can keep it. But yes, G2 looking more convincing. This could be their first win in the league. And their eighth map, their eighth outing. Pop the champagne. Or the Bucks Fizz. Definitely time for champagne. The keep Bucks Fizz. Keep control of things. Get the Bucks Fizz out. <laughs> and some biscuits. <laughs> have a cheese as well. Need to have that. I've, I've, got, cherry I've got cherry tomatoes. Did roast the them? No. Keep them cold. Dude, get some olive oil, bit of salt and pepper, stick them in the oven for half an hour. Keep the vines on them. Trust me. You will have a much better time. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> They're so delicious. Eat them from the fridge, mate. Won't even take them out of the packet or wash them. It's not bad from body. He has plenty of information. Much information. Smiths will sweep up. He's a street sweeper, the drama king. And there we go. 14 to 4. Now the game begins in the second half. It's now or never. It's do or die. It is deal or no deal. Is the price right? 
for Virtus Pro. Ring the banker. What have you got left? You got enough for an AWP. They'll take the deal. They have no kits though. That's the compromise. Barely any utility. G2 up against four players of our helmets. And Kenny S hits the shot. Takes me who down to two points of health. Oh my goodness. He is the walking wounded. Kenny S is just relentless right now. That's his 30th kill, chaps. Asher, can't believe it. And they've got four players right helmets from it. These SMGs will be deadly. They'll go back towards B. Smoke down, existence is patrol, and they're firing through. He knows they're stuck in there now. They're not going to go for mid split. They're going to contact B. No one in there right now. This should be round. Existence will offer himself a sacrifice in the mid position, or will he? Smith he just has to patrol lower. That's it, really. There they go. They've been sold a dud. Dodgy carpet. Made from polyester. Want to get planted now. We don't really have the retake grenades for versus Pro. No kits either. It's a bit of a closed off plant. Oh, good nade. It's not the open plant that maybe you'd want. Looks going over the lurk. Gets taken down. Too aggressive for me. We'll back away of what they have. Kenny. I made a video once, like 2015, I think, on okay. Ken, about it was Kenny S on Dust 2, and it's just I was just basically I went through a bunch of different positions that he uses on the CT side, and it's got like half a million views. Did it really? Yeah. It's half a million. It's like my most successful video, and I just kept the views just kept churning out for the like next couple of years, just because people Kenny's, type in Kenny Kenny's S Dust 2, and there you are. Kenny's a god. I've never made a YouTube video. Have you not? Ever. Just try it. Yeah. I enjoy making videos. Never uploaded a thing. I guess you are. We did drop the bomb stuff. But that wasn't really necessarily me. My ideas, my money, but not me making them. Well, this could be the last round here if the trend continues with Kenny S just ravaging VP every single round with his all. Magic stick. The Asimov Orp and Kenny S. Quite an iconic duo. Uh, he did use the the Dragon Law for so long. He actually gave the Dragon Law to Sixer when he left Envious. Yep. Kept it called uh, the, the Magic Stick and passed it on. Didn't seem to really transfer the skill. It just wasn't the same. Didn't work out. I don't know what Six is doing now. I don't know who he plays for. Oh, game on G2. He's getting him on, yeah. G2 splitting the A bomb site now. He got players on the ramp, and Snatchy might be in trouble. Has he got the sound cues? Can he deliver the kills? Existence taken up by Neo. Maybe saving Snatchy there. Maybe not. Nice burst from Snatchy. That would be round number five for Versus Pro. Three players survive, and there is his AWP now. I noticed that Kenny's matched his. Asimov AWP with the P250, which actually inspired me to buy the Asimov P250 as well. But it was quite clean. Quite nice. It's the only P250 I don't have a name for yet. Might just call it Kenny S. Mini Kenny S. Fun size Kenny S. Versus Pro fighting for their lives. They're acquired 10 rounds in a row. They got more than that in the last game in a row against G2. So let's not count them out just yet. Luxury of the CT sides, of the angles of engagement that they want. The G2 have Kenny S on 31 frags in 20 rounds. Give it that clean finish. They seem unstoppable now. They should be getting... What is that smoke? Is that where it's supposed to go? Maybe. Doesn't seem that useful. CT's going to push front of it, but uh, either way. Morel's taking himself from the corner. Body alone. Flashed in, and he's going to get past Morel's. What's going to happen here? There will be a trade, surely. <gasps> oh, he's going to get the kill. Three on three. Morel's takes some damage, though. Now they're not sure as to where the T's are heading towards. It will be all three players on short. All for Snatchy, though. Surely he gets his first kill, no problem. Looks like it's a pretty lackluster approach, really. 
And they will just get all three. Not quite. Shoxi will keep fighting here. Definitely capable of winning the round, but not this time. Uh, so much even went through the floor. Bomb falling into CT is always a disaster. I like uh, the dodging of the flashes from Snatchy, just, just doing a 180 mid-fight and then scoping back in again and just hitting the mark ca uh, pretty casually. It's not so bad, not so bad. If you stay in it for another round or two more. Maybe Kenny just wants to get to 40. What's the most in a in regulation frags? Um, record? It depends on which record you look at. Like at majors or in general. In general, um, in the professional match. Might be when Guardian was um, standing in for some random low tier team. Remember that? It just absolutely annihilated the opponent. It was ridiculous. I think in majors at least it's Nico on Mirage. Um, in didn't Sunny didn't Sunny beat that? When? Oh, no, Sonny beat that, but that was not as a major. He beat it uh, on Mirage as well, against FaZe. Uh, sure. Mouse against FaZe. Yeah, Majors, I feel like it's, it's Nico, and they just had it for, the, for a single half. Majors has it, I think. Maybe it's been decent. I'm not sure. I need to look that up. There, there should be a place in Edge if you just have his little tidbits like that. Just to impress the page. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. little, just little cool. bits. That'd be cool, actually, in like a link to the game and everything. Yeah, just like a, a trophy room, you know. Yes. I like this boost. It's a default here from G2, just crossing the T's, dotting the I's, the boost there to deal with any boost from the CT's. Deep on shorts. And they will then take short, they've cleared middle or close middle positions. Snatchy. They seem to be feeding it there. They're not flashing yeah. it. They're not really giving it too much to in terms of a challenge. Dead. Well, I don't think there was a flashbang for that player. Like, ideally, if you've got to do that, you need the orb right behind you, trading out pre fire in the spot as you go down. Or at least a flashbang. Or anything, yeah. Because the flashbang forces the CT off the position, off the peak. Let's say anything, really. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, Pasha actually not finding the kill there. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. You want to finish him off, but Smith will just run straight through the doors, and that's not worked out. It's a 5v3 now in favor of VP. Yeah, they've lost it, they? Oh dear. That was not ideal. Like not quite the ticket. Body still alive. Morel's no fear, the wide peak with 21 HP. Yeah, it seems a little bit disjointed there. No sort of... Um, I'm not sure if it was a communication thing or what, but no one trying to trade with Smith. And that's eight rounds of VP now. And we're seeing some of this, uh, some similar errors being made from, from G2 that we saw in VP on their T side. It's ambitious from Smith to the scout pick long. I have to nail the headshot. And me who will. Getting it done with the M4. Looking to close things out in style. It's going to be the ninth round of the ball for VP here. Flashbang's over. Existence left alone now. Just trying to stay alive. But uh, surely going to be dealt with here. Pasha will finish things off. If this goes overtime and they lose. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with myself in the break. <laughs> Nothing will make sense. Don't worry, Henry. There's no way that's happening. It's impossible. <laughs> well, you said that now. That so is smiling. See. It's impossible. He thinks he's funny. No, it just, it just, there's no way. <laughs> it can't happen, Henry. It can. It can't. It definitely can. The way they're throwing their grenades today, the way the timings look, yeah. like, it, it, remember, they only got here for Kenny has 30 bomb in the first half. True. Like, it's not like it was the team, wow, we've all clicked now, it's all working. Yep, and they're, they're feeding Snatchy as Kenny S was being fed, in a sense, because yeah. it's, it's just about not having the right flashes and smokes in the right place to just dismantle the AWP's defense. If you, if you played Dust2 with no utility, 
CTs have a pretty big advantage. It's like it's pretty pretty enormous advantage. Oh, that's good timing from Shox, catching Patch with a grenade in his hand, and Body will get caught on Long. What is the read of Long from Versus Pro now? Where will they position their plays? They've got three around A, and they're going for a short play. Will they see the shadow? Kenny's scope has been heard. A second player has been heard in the short position. Oh, Mihu. Oh, the timing is unbelievable. Kenny jumping up, <laughs> and of course he gets the kill. Unstoppable at the moment. Pop flash through the doors, and G2 approach B. Well, they, they, they spotted maybe Morales there. I'm not Ooh, sure if he's. Oh, here we good. go! Doesn't look good, boys. That hurts, but existence Ooh. on one HP. Kenny S will be dropped. The round is falling apart. They don't know what to do. What's the play going to be? There's no way. CT's got this round. Absolutely no way. One by one. No nades. Too tentative. They're only five rounds away, Henry. Yeah, it's happening, but it's going overtime. They are only five they look, they rounds look, away. I, I, just, I just can't. This isn't the justification of existence being this massively amazing in-game leader anymore. I just, don't, I just don't see evidence of it. They look so nervous when they're going into choke. There's no assertive play. They're like, oh, segregate. Yeah. They'll get an advantage, and someone will just die on the other side of the map by themselves. I'm trying, just trying to work out, like, what, what is what is it about him that everyone's thinking is going to be the big changing point? He's going to sport this team out. Well, there's no evidence. <laughs> It's like I don't. There's no. In, in CSGO, we haven't seen any strategies. Like when we see Mouse Sports play Dust Two, they have crazy like fakes. They drop Chris J down CT spawn. His teammates are getting ready in B. He'll get a kill down there for like a hundred grenades going into CT spawn. Then he'll be through all the smokes and it'll be some mental gameplay. That's what Mouse Sports play. When these guys play, it's defaults. They don't seem to have an execution. They don't seem to have flashbangs to get up short. They're getting picked apart one by one by Snatchy. And it's like, no, I feel like they might be out of luck here. Now Kenny S doesn't have the orb. It's going to take someone just to go wild with an AK to get them over the finish line, I think. That's the thing as well. In a lot of the older existence teams, he had amazing players around him in a time when you could get away with with less rounded teams as well. So now the level is just very different. It's just overall much higher across the board. And Snatchy's going to be... Is he going to be fed again here? Oh, there's the flash. There that's you go. That's, that's what you wanted to see. Force is in back. Now you got position on the short. Now you throw the molly to the slope. You get the smoke in front. So you can throw more nades. You throw the flashes. You drop someone down. It's sometimes two. Nice oh, position from Mihu. Oh my god, they're just shutting it down. Okay, this is scrappy, but still G2 in it. They shouldn't be winning this round. The smokes were not good in CT. They, those are pretty simple set piece smokes as well to cover CT spawn, just so they don't have a massive gap like that. But either way, Shoxi and Body up against Mihu and Morels. HP advantage with the CTs. And again, doesn't seem clear as to what G2 want to do here. They've got one flashbang that's holding up a mistake. Guaranteed kill for Morels. And where's the trade? Nothing. Just hoping for the best, walking through the doors. Here we go, though. Body will give them a fighting chance. Morel tries to use the sound cue to suggest he's going towards B, but Mihu's not having any of it. Oh, dear. Didn't make enough steps. So... A VP won 16 rounds in a row on the last map. This can't be the way they go 0 and 8. <laughs> they can't be. <laughs> that would be so stupid. You've watched so many people die. <laughs> and this is another round for Vertis Pro. There'll only be three in it after this one. Oh. I feel nervous for G2. I'm like, guys, it's happening again. Kenny S is going to be there to say, guys, I, I got 30 kills in the first round. He's still my rules. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't watch. Like, 30 kills <laughs> is good for a 30-round game. You get 30 kills. Like, oh, well played, mate. He got it in 15 rounds. Whew. Yeah, Snatchy's moved his position not on A anymore. So if you're mixing it up, Snatchy is pretty incredible when he gets going. He's been doing his job well so far with the AWP. As he said... Look at this from BP. They are so wary of this B play, and they would be right to be. Pasha will go down. He's done some damage, though, but there's all the players for the CTs in place. Snatchy's just having at them. A nice couple kills from him with the AWP, and that will be round 12 for BP. Buy back in for G2. Henry's ringing, ringing the That's bell. That's the bell. That's the overtime bell. It's, it's been locked in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
it's really hard to watch, isn't it? You just I just dread I just was dread it, the overtime. Was it fifteen four? Was that the score line? Yeah, it was. It was fifteen four. No. Fifteen five. Whatever. Anyway, it was like it's this is gonna be an absolute disaster. Yeah, it was eleven four half. Then fifteen four. Oh no. Not the fifteen four comeback. Not that. They've got to let just Kenny get entries at this point. Kenny, get some entries. <laughs> Body's having a good game as well, as is Shocks. So really, since half time, we have barely had that many kills from Kenny. True. He's got the orb now, though. Man, I feel like if they lose this game, this series, this these two maps against could be the end of the team. It's, <laughs> that could just it, be it. No, it, 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 is, it is the most obvious example for all of our fears of the, about this team. It's everything everything that we feared in, re part in reality it's manifesting in your itself. There's oh. part of you that wants it to happen. You just want to watch the world burn, don't you? I don't want to see it. <laughs> I can't. I, can't. I want to watch the world burn, <laughs> but not to see. Want to stay in the sea? Yeah. Got my Megalodon tube. I'm good to go. Get one of those underwater ones if you buy. Oh, awkward. Snatchy. That'll be frustrating. They are still playing against the match point. You can't afford to miss things like that. Now he probably has to read that two players there. There's a Molotov to force them from their position. So at the very least, versus Pro will have control of long for now. Some good damage done as well to Kenny and Shocks. It's, it's minimal, but it might make the difference with an M4 headshot. Oh, M4 not a problem for me. He's got the AK. There's the M4. Patcher drops the bomb into mid. He's, does he want to go out again? My goodness, he's so crazy. Gets the kill as well. That's actually a good trade. A three versus two now for Virtus Pro as the bomb looks to be recollected. We've got a lot of action here. Morales now wants a piece of that, and he's moving from B, and surely they don't see this coming. Ooh, that's a big win. Existence down to 5 HP, but he's going to make the run to the B-bomb site. But how can he survive the cross? He's got 5 HP, but he has to get this kill, and now it's down to Existence. Oh my goodness. It's not going to happen, is it? Two versus one. He'll have to do something absolutely insane at this point. Time will tell if he can do it. Neo and Snatchy biding their time, waiting, making sure that smoke goes down first before they make their move. They'll know he's low. They are wasting a bit of time here, though. If Existence had a Molotov right now, I'd say you have a chance, but still, that position is not worth more than one kill. I'll we'll have to wait till they touch a bomb, try and peek up, go for a one tap. And with the time remaining, maybe he's got a chance here. So we'll count five, peek, get the first. Can't do it. So the trade was always going to happen, unfortunately, for him. Good idea, though. Get him some fighting chance. But still, bomb planted. Another plant will mean another buy. Oh no. How are they mentally still in this game, G2, at this point? Because they know all eyes are on them. Even their their own organization are tweeting about them. They're 0 and 7. They had an 11 4 lead. They had a 15 4 lead. And they haven't got a single win just yet. This has to make you start to get nervous. The clammy hands. Yes. The shaky control of the mouse. Clammy hands, the bickering, <laughs> the sense of doubt, the overwhelming sense of dread. The sense of self-worth. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> okay, well, this is just a contact play. Five players on, Dan. Unorthodox, but it might be enough. It could be enough. Oh. It looks like it might be. It will be the four versus two. It was the Hail Mary call. Five players walk long and see if you can get that bomb down. If ever there was a time to close out a game, this would be it. Shocks, he's got middle. Pasha, who's been good so far, looking to close things out. Morels, surely there's no way they can get back into this. We've done it. G2 have done it. Morels can't really spend too much time chasing that play. He's just got to go in. Shox's objective in lower dark is just to waste time as Pasha pushes forward here. The crossfire deals with him. Morel's now dinged from behind. More it's over. fire. I'm, I'm hesitant. To it is. It has to be over. <laughs> Four people. The bomb's like three quarters yeah. down. He's locked out. He's in no GG. HP. It's happened. We've got there. Oh, Ooh. I feel relieved for them. 
Oh, it's gone for the knife. One HP. My goodness. It oh, works hollow. out for G2 in the end, but at the same time, does it because... It's a hollow victory. It, it feels very, very, very bitter and a tiny bit, 1% sweet. Yeah, because you, you all know it was Kenny getting you through it. Yes, it's the first victory here in ECS uh, Season 6. That's going to put them now 1 and 7. Um, that's great. They get a, a win, right? But it's still, that should have been a convincing close up. Their T side still just looked so flat. There's, there's nothing there. It's for me, they're saying, like, wow, I can see what you guys are talking about. This is like, their T side's brilliant. They've got these uh, executions, they've got these fakes. We didn't see a single fake. We didn't see anything even look, look for, like a mid split or anything like that. Just defaults up the short, run up like this, and you can see no flashes deployed. And All the highlights are just Kenny. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's just like, it literally almost entirely Kenny S. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. They've broken the curse. It will be the first map going in G2's favor. It was a long, drawn-out, labored affair, but they managed to do it. And uh, you can see Snatchy, he really did apply the pressure in the second half. Yeah, he showed his worth, his quality, and they almost made it happen, VP. It, but it, it seems so overwhelming, this storyline of G2, that we just have to keep continuing to talk about it. And we can see here on the scoreboard just the differential between the top performers Body and Kenny S having a good time of it, of course. Same names though, at the top and the bottom. Body at the top is good in terms of damage. It's surprising that he somehow got more damage off than Kenny S, but he did get 26 kills towards the end. And you can see Snatchy doing his absolute best. I feel like Pasha needs more credit than 15 frags suggest. He did yeah. a great job of keeping them in the game uh, towards the end. Neo, not really much from him. The Snatchy, great showing from him. He had some amazing rounds as well. Uh, they did their best. They had a really rough first half. Not really much you can do when uh, Kenny S is powdering your bottom like that consistently. It will be two wins for VP, four losses, and NIP struggling as well. I didn't realize they were 0 and 4. Uh, G2 1 and 7. Fanatic actually doing better than their Swedish rivals without even playing a single game yet. So there you go. Yeah, it's still early though. It is that, very early. Um, yeah, very there's, a lot of, there's a lot of teams played four and six games and it's still just all bunched together. And often the middle table is towards the end as well. So there's a lot of play for most of these teams. But for G2, who knows? Well, that was the leaderboard. That was G2 finding their first bit of success. I'm glad it happened. I feel like I would have had an aneurysm if we got to overtime. I feel like they might have done as well. Um, but we got there, and uh, commiserations to VP valiantly fought in the second half. We're going to be back with the North American division, and that's where always the hype is delivered, and we'll always see exciting games and some high-flying antics. It's currently uh, just on the hour, so we'll be back in about one hour exactly to bring you four more maps of North American Counter-Strike. We'll see you there.